What is up? In this video, we're going to look at how to install lib4d files for Cinema 4D. And for people that are using Set Designer for C4D, which just came out today, uh, the locations like this are going to be coming in lib4d format, as is this kitchen, lib4d. And then we're going to have a materials uh, library as well that's going to be lib4d. But right now, they come in uh, texture maps like this. So again, you're going to go to uh, one of these locations. And if you are signed up for Set Designer, you'll be able to download it for free. And then you're going to get a bunch of lib4d files like this. So we have set one, set two, and the eventual SD materials library that will be coming out. So let's look at how we install this into Cinema 4D and start to use it. So in a previous video, I showed you how to import regular Cinema 4D objects, and that would just be importing them into here and then dragging them into the content browser. And that works pretty well, but there's a way to actually import pre-made libraries or pre-made presets directly into this. And that's what we're going to look at today. So you're going to start by going to edit preferences which is Command-D e or Apple-E, I think, on the Mac. And uh, what you're going to do is go to Open Preference Folder down here. So you actually don't even have to go find this. You can just click that, and I find that incredibly useful. And all we're going to do is we're going to take these files and put them in the right place. And you're going to go to Library, Browser, and then you see there's a bunch of lib4d files. These basically line up with um, these different preset folders. So that's really convenient. I think that's pretty awesome. It's not something they have like Maya or, or most 3D programs. So I'm just going to drag all of these in there. Oh, there's one already in there. Hmm. I'm going to skip this one because we already have, I already have this loaded in there. So we see I already have uh, SD materials, but we just loaded these two uh, sets into there, but it would work for the materials if you don't have them. So I think you have to restart Cinema 40 at this point. So I'm going to say no, and I'm just going to restart R19, which is a lovely release. Uh, a lot changed from Cinema 4D R17 to R19. Completely worth it for me. I think it's super awesome. Um, so now that we've done that, I should have a bunch of new things in here. And do I do? I have uh, SD Set 1 and SD Set 2. So in here, kind of an ugly uh, thumbnail of it, but is a set. And you'll see that it came with all the textures prepackaged in it. So that's really nice. So if I import this, we'll see that all the shaders are set up for me correctly. And on top of that, the set's just already ready to go. Like I could basically turn on rendering, or I could just turn on, turn on. I could set up my render settings here. I'll just do that for now. It's kind of a big file. And I could just, boom, start rendering. And it's going to start putting stuff together. It's going to take a second, but uh, I'll just cancel this render. So that's really quick. And if you're looking to get started with Cine Designer or Set Designer, and you want to just uh, pop open some sets and some locations, this is the way that I think I'm going to be distributing the files for now. It's just really easy. I think you can rearrange these a little bit, but it's the best way that I've seen so far to make sure that all the textures come in set up correctly. Um, you get the texture files and they're properly mapped onto the uh, onto the location. So it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, if I go back to uh, a different set, the kitchen set, I guess I'll start a new, a new one, a new project. I'll close this and it's closing. So here's our kitchen set. Again, it comes with all the textures that you would need for this little kitchen set, which I made in another YouTube video. And here we are. I think, uh, hopefully this works for everybody. Um, but this kitchen is preloaded. You don't have to do anything to it. You just have to, this one doesn't have any lights, but you just have to drop a, a light or two in here and hit render and you're good to go. All the textures are there. This is all set up and, uh, you have everything. So that's really convenient. Or at least I think it's kind of convenient. And my goal with this is that I'm basically making different sets like this all the time for testing and for uh, now distributing through set designer. So every day that I make a new set, I'm just going to upload it as a lib4d. And then anyone who is a subscriber to set designer can download it and start to immediately use it. And for people that aren't using a uh, physical renderer, because it is a little bit slow, um, but people who are using Cine Designer basically have to use physical right now until I update for Redshift and possibly for Octane or V-Ray, um, it is possible to retexture these for different rendering engines. And I left all this stuff completely open. Uh, I don't hide anything like I do in Cine Designer. So you can just go in here. Uh, there's a ton of layers. So this is either a good thing or a bad thing for you, but everything, all the textures and all the geometry are hidden in these layers, but hopefully labeled in a way that you can get to them. And if you wanted to, you could go retexture this stuff for your specific rendering engine uh, and just use the geometry. That would be a lot of work. But it would save you the time of having to model everything. You just have to go retexture it. And in future uh, set designer updates, I hope that I'm going to be able to make either an alternate library or a really easy way to translate from physical render 
to Redshift because that's where I'm going next. Um, but I'm going to have to figure that out. For now, all this stuff really is just for physical, um, which is either good or bad for you. But uh, that is a look at installing .lib 4D files. Uh, they go directly into here and they come all textured and work perfectly, which is really great. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about it, leave comments in this video or check out the forum on the website, which I'll go to real quick. Uh, it's a very new forum, so there's not a ton of people on it, but I pretty much, not guarantee, but I'll just say that if you leave questions here, it's very, very likely that I will see them because especially now, very slow there, but it's going to be the place that I um, really want to be handling support for anything set designer related. So until next time, I will see you guys later.